parthogenesis. All those who used to give me advice are crazier every day. Luckily, I ignored them, and they went to another city where they all lived together constantly swamping sombreros. They were worthy subjects, politically thoughtful, and every fault I committed caused them such suffering that they turned gray and wrinkled, gave up eating chestnuts, and an autumnal melancholy finally left them delirious. Now I don't know what to be, forgetful or respectful, to continue to give them counsel or reproach them for their madness. I cannot claim independence. I am lost in so much foliage. Should I leave or enter, travel or linger, buy cats or tomatoes? I will try to understand what I must do then do it. And so be able to justify the ways which might escape me. For if I don't make mistakes, who will believe in my errors? If I go on being wise, no one will notice me. But I will try to change, offer greetings with great care, and look to appearances with dedication and zeal until I am all that they wish, as one might be and another might not, till I exist only in others. And then, if they leave me in peace, I am going to change completely and differ with my skin. And when I have another mouth, other shoes, other eyes, and no one can recognize me, since anything else is beyond me, I shall go on doing the same. Just a little food for thought. That was nice. Here I am back down on the ground again. Still standing here looking up at the pretty tree. Message from all that. Continue to be who you are. Be what makes you happy. Be what you are for yourself, not for others. Above all, just be. Bye-bye.